just got a package in last night that I've been waiting for for the last couple days. I'm super stoked. Um, if you know me, you know I'm a huge hat guy and I'm also a huge um, fan of promoting people within the industry. So I've got a package that I want to open up real quick for you guys. Look at that. That is one slick lid right there. This is from Austin at Arrow A Rope Horses. Um, he's got an operation up there in Weatherford. Um, Austin and I have been going back and forth on Instagram and I bought one of his hats. Um, super cool hat, look at this. He's got the Arrow A on the side, on one side. He's got the uh, Old Glory on the other. Yeah, that is absolutely slick. So Austin and I are actually gonna be doing some content here in the future. So if you wanna see that, uh, make sure to subscribe to this channel. I'll also put um, Austin's uh, Instagram in the description below. That way you guys can go follow him as well. Um, he's got some really, really good rope horses up there. And uh, yeah, I'm super stoked to be working with him. And actually, I think I might as well just go ahead and rock this lid. Oh my gosh. Yep, that's what I'm rocking the rest of the day. Well, we just unloaded an entire truckload full of hay, and uh, I think it's safe to say that, uh, what do you think, summer's almost here, or is it? I think it's almost I think summer. it's full spring. Yeah. Full spring feels like somewhat summer, so it's definitely warm. That's why I've got the long sleeve on. Not long sleeve. Somebody obviously tans better than I do, but we're gonna get blue worked and uh, get a little riding in today. I don't know when the next time we're gonna be able to go to a jackpot is, so we just wanna kinda keep him legged up. He's doing really well and his fitness is really coming back into form. Um, I think he's probably 80% ready for like the full spring and summer jackpots and big ropings. He slicked off a lot the past couple of days. Oh. quick before we get started if you haven't um, followed me on Instagram you're definitely gonna want to do that uh, NRS and Smarty are both um, teaming up to do a giveaway we're giving away a Smarty shorty which is like one of those small roping dummies I'll put my link in the description below for my Instagram go follow me there once we hit 10,000 followers on there I will release all the instructions on how to enter and uh, we'll get somebody that Smarty shorty circles and circles and circles uh, doing a bit of counter canner work and I mean my wife can explain a lot better than I can about counter canners and, and the benefits of them but I know that it's really good for blue and and we'll do it both ways so we'll we'll, we'll counter to the left or excuse me we'll canter to the left and then we'll counter canner to the right but in the left lead and then we'll do it the reverse right so we'll 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 canter in the right lead and then we'll counter canter 
in the, the right lead, but going to the left. Um, maybe, maybe you should explain a little bit. So basically what the counter canner helps develop is balance. Um, it's a great strength building tool in the canter and Blue is lucky in that naturally he's very balanced both directions. But uh, I like it because it really helps them learn how to come underneath themselves with the hind legs and uh, carry themselves. So like I said, it's a great exercise for balance, for strength building, and I think it's really important for Blue. Oh my gosh, this camera gets heavy. Yeah, it's pretty heavy. I think it's really important for Blue because he is so left lead dominant that his right lead is weaker. Which most team roping horses are. Exactly. So um, I'm a firm believer in that the horse has to be uh, nicely developed. And I think that's a really big misconception about dressage is that it really, the word literally means training. So it's helping him and it's helping Barrett in the long run. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, it is an absolutely beautiful morning this morning. Hey, that's pretty noisy, little dog. After we get our morning coffee, Maddie and I are gonna head to the barn. We've got some, some really cool stuff working for you guys, so we gotta get that way. These two are going to a show in what, two weeks? Yeah. Two weeks, they're gonna to go to a big show. Um, this is what, Ryder's third show with us? Third dressage show, so they're getting a little bit of uh, practice in. Look at our awesome outfit, y'all. It is a good day, it's Good Friday, and uh, they're about to have a good ride. Good morning everybody um, in the last video I think it was the last video you saw me break our trailer hi I broke our trailer and uh, it's been wearing on me the past couple days that it's broken um, and the only real fix that we have is to completely take this jack off um, pull it off and then replace it with a new one that I bought so um, off camera I actually was able to um, re-hook up to the trailer. I was a little nervous about um, actually having to like jack this thing up because it's not on a level um, surface. It's actually out of a bit of a decline and I didn't want to you know run into any issues there. So I was actually able to back up and then just lower lower this hitch down and then back up to the spot, re-hook it up and then hook everything up just fine which will keep it in place while I, uh, while I take this bad boy off. So we better get to it. First we need to figure out what size those are, and then what's underneath. I actually need a flashlight, which I don't have, so I guess my phone will do. Yeah, I know. She wants to get down so bad and, uh, and play, but I don't want her doing that while I'm doing this, so she's being a little whiny in the back of the truck. You'll be all right. Oh yeah, we're good. Well, I realized that there was actually still um, 
a bit of tension on the actual jack itself and it was actually still holding up quite a bit of the weight of the trailer um, so because I broke this screw off I uh, had to make a sacrifice or two and I actually put one of these just kind of wood screws which is not recommended just so that I could spin that handle enough to get the weight up and off so now that the weight is up and off we can actually take the rest of this jack out and uh, there won't really be any problem with it uh, wanting to fall down a bit Now the big question of it all is, uh, is this new jack that I bought, is it going to fit? I hope so. Like a glove. Like a glove. Just perfect. The only thing is it is going to absolutely drive my wife crazy and her OCD crazy that the jack is black and everything else is white. But what are you going to do? This is the uh, easiest and cheapest fix. I think this new jack was like 30 bucks, which the lady at the uh, trailer repair place was like, ah, I was kind of worried if I was putting this in wrong, it's so cheap. But anyhow, it fits so far and it actually seems like it's a bit of a sturdier you know contraption versus that other one um the the trailer you know spot here locally was like these things are junk after a year or two they go out and so you have to replace them so i'm pretty happy with this one mm -hmm. 